Well, it was a hard-fought Big Ten game like this you see in this year with all these games. Uh, the league is incredibly difficult this year. Uh, everybody is really well coached, good players, um, good environments. Uh, we got off to a tough start. Uh, give Michigan credit. I thought their energy early, 18 to six down, and then our guys fought back. You know, like we kind of have. You know, we have a good fighting spirit in our locker room, and we're able to get the lead at halftime. Um, and in the second half, I just thought it was you know our, our inability to get stops when we needed it. Um, if you would have told me before the game that we were going to score 78 points, um, I would have thought that would have been enough. But give Michigan credit, especially their young perimeter. You know, I thought those three kids, uh, McDaniel, Buffkin, and Howard, you know, going for 20, 17, and 16, uh, and whatever, 15 assists. Um, Outstanding performance from three young players uh, in a Big Ten game. So tip our cap to them. Disappointed in the loss. I thought we put ourselves in position on the road to get one, which isn't easy. Um, our guys did a really good job of doing that, but, but Michigan made more plays than us. They made more shots, and they did the things that were uh, worthy of winning today. Ten questions? Front coach forced 18 turnovers instead of 85 points. Kind of interesting. Yeah, I thought we were active. You know, uh, obviously Chase's activity. You know, you know he's arguably the best defender and, and steals guy in the conference. So I think he got five or six steals. Um, you know, I thought we had some active hands at times. Um, I thought we got a little bit worn down in the second half. You know, I thought the kind of the pace of the game. Uh, they really got us spread out. Um, their three point shooting there. You know, I thought every time we were kind of making a push, one of those three guys. You know, stepped up. We give up ten threes, and you know, all nine of the ten, you know, were were those three perimeter guys. You know, loose balls, long rebound. Um, thought a big shot of the game, even though we only made one, was you know, it was a four point game there, and, and we had a turnover, and, and Baker had a big three in transition, kind of to push it back to seven. So, um, we we got to recommit ourselves to playing better defense. Um, it's hard during the season because there's so many games in such a short window. Everybody's playing two and three games a week. And so your practice time becomes more limited. So you don't have the time to really be doing a lot of the breakdown drills and things of that nature. And we just had too much slippage on that end. We, we, we became good by committing ourselves to being elite defensively. And you know we gotta just get back to doing that. Obviously the, the competition has improved of, of who we're playing and the teams we're playing. But um, you know we can't give up 85 points on the road and expect to win. So that, that's something we gotta really shore up before our next game. Yeah, you mentioned Michigan's young perimeter. What made them so hard to guard there specifically? Yeah, I just thought they all, all of them made plays. You know, I, I thought uh, McDaniel did a really good job in the pick and rolls most of the game. Um, you know, I thought Bufkin, you know, hit a couple big corner threes, but his ability to drive closeouts, um, you know, what happens a lot, and, and, and there's a conscious effort to, to take away Hunter inside. You know, and I thought overall we did a pretty good job on him, you know, in terms of the double teams. And, you know, really, he didn't really go crazy on us, but. You know, that's where we got to do a good job when he sprays it out of, of closing out, taking away threes, and then taking away their driving lanes. And, you know, I thought they hurt us in the pick and roll game in the second half. They really spaced the floor. They got they got downhill, which then opened up their own shots and, and opened up drive and kick situations. What did you make of their two big lineup with Dickinson and, and Reed? Yeah, two big boys. You know, two big boys. I mean, those guys uh, are good players. You know, very talented. Um, you know, obviously they, they kind of showed that last game with the Iowa game was kind of the first game I saw them go to that more extensively and um, it reminded you a little bit of last year when it was Hunter and Diabati um, so they were doing some of those things but makes it hard on the glass those guys are big guys and, and, and physical and and um, you know I'm sure it's a lineup they they're going to look at even more going forward because because Reed is very talented so I think it's a way Hunter's going to play it's a way to kind of get him out on the floor and get him more minutes you saw those two adjustments you were looking for? Yeah, I mean, we were just trying to stay true to our to our game plan, um, you know, and then we were trying to use that against them a little bit. You know, uh, if they were going to go big, at times we went a little bit smaller to try to make them defend, you know, guys like Robbie, you know, on pick and pop situations and drives. I thought we got some good things with that matchup on the other end, but there's no question, you know, they're, they're big, strong guys. I thought they had some big offensive re Terrace had a couple really big offensive rebounds late that really helped them. But, um, you know, we, we kind of stayed true to our, our same, you know, game plan, just knowing, man, we better get on the boards because they, they got two really big guys crashing any time they did miss. 
just talk about the poison determination issue after that, after that, after that, after that. Yeah, I mean, uh, our guys, you know, we, uh, this group is, has amazed me all, the, all year in terms of their fight, in terms of their will, their competitive spirit. Um, obviously, we were disappointed in the first eight minutes. You know, we didn't have the energy we needed to start the game. They jumped on us. But for us then to get the lead at half, I, I think it showed a lot about who our group is, um, you know, and, and who we've been all year. And, and obviously, this is a difficult loss because we came here. We both teams were coming off hard losses. You know, both of us kind of had games we had in our our grips uh, in the middle of the week that got away from us in the last minute of the games, and we knew what we were going to be out, you know, in for today with Michigan and, and what they had to offer. And um, I'm just really proud of our fight, our energy, our toughness, and. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of things we can get better at, but you know, sometimes the other team just plays a little bit better than you do. They make a little more, little few more plays, they make a few more shots, and I think that's what happened today in a hard-fought game with two good teams. Uh, you guys scored 16 points on the pass breaks. Obviously, a sizable chunk of that is because of the sizable turnover margin. But was there anything about Michigan's defense coming in that you guys played for? Down the court like that. Well, we, we wanted to try to attack if we could, you know, especially if they were going to play bigger guys. You want to try to, you want to try to get Hunter if you can, get him running up and down the floor as quick as possible. Maybe get him, uh, you know, a little bit winded because if he can play at kind of his pace and get into the half court and do the things, he's he's very difficult to defend. So we wanted to be opportunistic. We didn't want to go crazy with it, but we also, if you force turnovers in this conference, you have to try to get baskets out of them. I mean, everybody's too good. If you just let teams set up their defense all night, it's going to be really hard to score. So whether we had a long rebound or we forced a turnover, we were really telling our guys to try to push the ball, get out of the open court, and, and uh, see if we could get some opportunities before their defense got set.